Vice President of the United States. That's not emotion, that's that light right there in front of me. <laughs> well, thank you all, and please be seated. Vice President Bush, and did I see my friend Governor Kane here? Here he is, Tommy. Hey, Dave. <laughs> How are you? Governor Kane, members of the Congress, and Secretary Go Dole, Candy Leitner, all of you who've been fighting this good fight. Good afternoon, and welcome to the White House. When I accepted my party's nomination for the presidency, that was four years ago today, I shared a vision of the future. I said that we needed a rebirth of an American tradition of leadership at every level of government and private life as well. I said that we needed a rebirth of an American tradition of leadership of that kind because the United States of America is unique in world history. It has a genius for leaders at many, uh, many leaders on many levels. And since then, we've seen the rise of a great national movement, a movement that's led by men and women in all walks of life. It began in the community, it spread to state governments, and now it's won wide support here in our nation's capital a movement against drunk driving. The bill we're gathered to sign today reflects the will of the American people. It takes the battle to stop drunk driving one crucial step further. And permit me to tell you why I believe that this bill is so important. We know that drinking plus driving spell death and disaster. We know that people in the 18 to 20 age group are more likely to be in alcohol-related accidents than those in any other age group. We know that America has a clear stake in making certain that her sons and daughters, so full of vitality and promise, will not be crippled or killed. And I know there's one, we all know that there is one simple measure that will save thousands of young lives that are in the drinking age if we or if we raise the drinking age I should say to 21. Now raising that dr drinking age is not a fad or an experiment it's a proven success. Nearly every state that has raised the drinking age to 21 has produced a significant drop in the teenage driving fatalities. In the state of New Jersey, whose governor made it a very personal crusade for himself, the rate, rate dropped by 26%. Illinois, it has fallen 23%, and Michigan, 31%. And when the Commission on Drunk Driving submitted its report, it forcefully recommended that all 50 states should make 21 the legal drinking age. And yet less, today, less than half that number have the age 21 law. And that leaves us with a crazy quilt of different states drinking laws and far too many blood borders. Borders where teens drive across to reach states with lower drinking ages and these teenagers drink and then careen home and all too often cause crippling or fatal accidents. This problem is bigger than the individual states. It's a grave national problem and it touches all our lives. With the problem so clear cut and the proven solution at hand, we have no misgiving about this judicious use of federal power. I'm convinced that it will help persuade state legislators to act in the national interest to save our children's lives by raising the drinking age to 21 across the country. Now many have toiled hard to make this bill possible. Members of Congress, Secretary Dole, thousands of concerned Americans like members of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, 
the students against drunk driving by supporting legislation. They've done this nation a service and each of them certainly have my heartfelt thanks and I think the thanks of all the people in our country. So God bless you and I am now going to write instead of talk. I'll sign.